Okay, now I want you to go ahead and sit down. We're going to hear your interview. Cowell documentary. Cowell, take one. Margaret? I crushed it. <laughs> you did. You crushed it, honey. There are those of us who like to venture to the unexplored, to see the beauty in the strange and unknown. Those of us who go out there with a sense of wonder. It's the magic of risking everything for a dream that nobody sees but you. I started my career working for my dad. I, we, I, I was a cornice box maker. Uh, building lambricans that would cover uh, draperies. And I started that one when I was 13. And then I went to work for an engine rebuilding shop for a very short period of time. It was right across the street from his shop, so I would work at both. I would just strip engines down, come home totally covered with grease. And it just was back in the day. And I got to the point where I knew where I wanted to be and what I wanted to do and working for my dad in that environment wasn't it. I remember the day I had to go in and I felt I had to go in and tell him I can't do this anymore. I need to go to work in this field. And dad and I had raced together, you know, as hobbyists. Well, Cal was like 16 and he got invited to go down and help crew a guy at the Baja and uh, I'd never even heard of off-road racing. And he came back and he was just wild for it. He said, Dad, we've got to do it. Then Cal, at 16, drove to South Dakota and picked up a Bronco that was in a flood. It was destroyed out of North Dakota. And towed it home. And he and Ralph Cosmides and Brent Duggleby and Doug Strickland, good high school buddies, stripped it down to methane and built it back into a race car and had the cage welded in at Bill Strop Motorsports. And the next thing you know, we're racing in the Mint 400. And Cal and Ralph didn't finish. Barnelli Jones won in the big Ole Bronco, lapped us, 200 mile laps back then. But that was it, the whole family was hooked. We were addicted. And my dad said, push on regardless, we're gonna win races. We're gonna, we're gonna be in this sport big time. Yes, there was something special about him. The thing that comes into my mind is, I'm building this class eight truck and, and I'm, I'm TIG welding everything and, and this is a long time ago, all of a sudden there would be this kid watching me work and do this stuff. And he had been at school or whatever and, and came by afterwards to see it. And, and I was building this truck at McHoward Leasing, which is in Santa Ana. And he just had all these questions that all made sense. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And it, it uh, it, it was kind of special. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. Toyota invests very wisely with our program. Cal and PPI were one of the first real partners for Toyota. And, and still to this day, the legacy that we created in this space, I consider it unmatched between a manufacturer and, and a team uh, partner. I believe that the PPI program was so vital to Toyota because it really launched our marketing effort with small pickup truck. The manufacturing and the relationship that he had with Toyota, they were looking at and how to really put SCORE, Toyota, and their team right up at the top, which they did at every race almost because they were winning so much. If it wasn't for Cal, what he did with Toyota, and once Toyota left, it opened the doors for these other manufacturers. And you look now, you got, I mean, you got Chevy, Ford, but with him stepping up to the plate and bringing off-road racing to the next elevation, those manufacturers had to get involved. They had to. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline, which you have already done, and consistency. You have to work at it. Every day, hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. I guess do. you might call it the legacy of PPI, looking back through the history. Um, my skin's tingling right now just talking about it. Um, 
the legacy, the honor, the privilege, um, the respect, dedication, um, all parts of words that come to you. Um, sorry. It's <clears throat> the amount of people and what they put forward and they put things in their own lives aside for the program. That's the hardest thing is finding people with heart. Um, you can have smart people all day long, but they got to have the heart to go along with it, to give the focus and give a piece of them, give some skin off it, give blood. And that was probably uh, one of the more big pieces of PPI is being able to assemble a group of people like that with a single focus of win. Take no prisoners, leave the, leave the competitors weeping. And that was kind of our goal. The most selfish thing you can do in this world is help someone else. Why is it selfish? Because the gratification, the goodness that comes to you, the good feeling, the good feeling that I get from helping others, nothing's better than that. That's where the joy is. That's where the success is in helping others. As you walk down your path in life, there are people that come and there's people that go. If this was the last time I'd see Cal right now, I'd just say thank you. That'd be it. That's all I need to say. Give my hug and say thank you. A lot of neat opportunities. And unfortunately, you know, some we made, some we lost. Never know until you try. You know, setting aside all of the championships and race wins, you know, we're only on this, this planet for, for so long. And, and it's the friendships and it's the people that, that have the, the, the longest uh, and the most important meaning in life. With Cal being inducted into the Hall of Fame, it's a very big deal. We have a large family, uh, six brothers and sisters. Cal is the oldest. Everybody's looked up to him for all our lives. And this recognition means a lot. If I was going to look back and say, well, could I or should I have done differently? There's a lot. But one of them was to slow down and take more of it in. We never knew how good we really had it when we were doing it. And the, the resources, the, the people, the camaraderie, the, the family, it was incredible.